Africa Consolidated Exchange, ESEX, a platform designed to ease the bottlenecks of doing business among African countries, has been launched at the University of Nairobi in Kenya. The platform launched over the weekend is expected to bridge the digital gap in international trade and foreign exchange, especially as it concerns Africa, a continent with expansive land mass, bubbly youthful population and huge economic potential. Let's watch this. Young, vibrant Africans are brought together here in Nairobi, Kenya, for the launch of the African Consolidated Exchange, ASEX, a game changer in trading across the continent. The activity happening today. The trading platform is expected to unify Africa's trailblazing infrastructure for players in the financial markets and in the continent's digital financial ecosystem. Within Africa Consolidated Exchange, our own value drivers that come in and they are, we derive value for them through the use of our own coin that we call term coin. So the value that it brings out is because from the microfinance institutions all the way to companies, publicly l uh, listed companies, and all um, uh, the farmers and miners in Africa, they are able to come in in Africa Consolidated Exchange and derive value. ASEX is a digital platform where agricultural commodities and energy commodities can be traded. Ladies and gentlemen, those of you that are hearing of uh, the Africa Consolidated Exchange for the first time, it is a fantastic platform, as you've heard. It is a platform where we've consolidated just about all the tradable instruments, the tradable assets, um, many opportunities there. Uh, those of you that are entrepreneurs have been struggling to raise capital. This is the platform where you have relaxed rules. The platform is also seeking to encourage Africans to participate in the exchange market by determining the price of commodities. ASEX is such a very powerful opportunity and uh, we are looking at creating a system uh, that can help eradicate poverty from, uh, from Africa. And uh, what we have done is to create um, a market system where all tradable assets that can be traded in the markets uh, can be traded on ASEX. And that provides a one-stop shop for people to create wealth for themselves. ASEX is designed to ease the bottlenecks of doing business among African countries while offering higher profits and at the same time culturally unifying Africans. Ian Bula is the founder and president of TE Markets Limited, owners of the newly launched exchange, and he joins us now to tell us more about this exchange. Good morning. Thank you very much, Mr. Mbula, for joining us on the program. Morning, and thank you for having me. Now, you just launched the African Consolidated Exchange. Tell us about this exchange and what it seeks to achieve. Okay, first of all, the African Consolidated Exchange uh, is a, a digital platform. Um, it is um, an alternative exchange, uh, alternative meaning from uh, the traditional brick and mortar exchange. Uh, this is a digital exchange. Uh, it is focused um, uh, on Africa, but uh, anyone can participate from any part of the world. And uh, th that is the beauty about it. And so we've got a, a global um, audience of prospects, traders, investors um, that uh, can come to the exchange and do business with us. Now, you are registered <laughs> in Seychelles. Why the choice of Kenya to launch? Oh, as a matter of fact, uh, we're not just registered in the Seychelles. We're also registered in Kenya. We've read, we, we, we actually have um, a, a company we recently acquired in the state. Estonia, uh, we, we registered in uh, Ghana, we registered in um, uh, Uganda. So we are going to register in several jurisdictions. Um, but Seychelles is somehow the one that has been picked because I think that is the one that is prominent on our website. Uh, but we are registered in all these other countries and uh, more are coming. Mm. Now you launched a coin uh, which you called uh, Tem Coin. 
what is the relationship between this coin and the exchange? What utility does uh, TEMCOIN bring? Well, the term coin is the main medium of exchange uh, on uh, our platform. In other words, if you're going to trade in any one of those assets, you need to acquire the term coin. Now, the beauty about that is that even those people that acquire the term coin, <coughs> uh, in the long term, they will benefit from the intrinsic value um, of the term coin because of that utility um, being applied within our exchange and uh, several other value drivers. Um, in other words, these are projects that are uh, associated with the term coin. For example, we've got a mining and beneficiation project in Zambia uh, that the term coin is driven, or rather that is driven on the term coin. We have a venture capital financing business. We have a, a global payment solutions program that we've partnered with, um, uh, with, with, uh, with Visa. Uh, and so we have all these applications, and so the growth in um, in uh, you know the, the the growth of the term coin or the intrinsic value will come from the utility and uh, the usage of our term coin and all these other value drivers. Needless to say, uh, uh, we anticipate that we're going to have hundreds of entrepreneurs. Uh, coming to seek raise capital on our exchange. Needless to say, uh, start, I mean, not just that have been in existence for a long time, um, our exchange is an alternative board. And so we are going to see a lot more of those coming to our exchange to do business with us. And so that business, that volume of transactions um, will have that intrinsic value uh, with our term coin. Now, will it be right uh, to call to call this term coin a cryptocurrency? Yes, it is a cryptocurrency. Um, it, it, I mean, let's just simply put it that way. It's a, it's a cryptocurrency. Uh, the, the The platform itself is um, uh, it, it's based on uh, a crypto platform, and uh, crypto is now. Um, what we're going to see, the future of currencies. As you've seen, currencies have uh, evolved over time. It's just that the regulators are taking time to adopt uh, the crypto dispensation. But the, uh, the honest truth is that um, uh, crypto's uh, total market cap has even surpassed that of the largest or the most lucrative uh, stock market uh, in the world, the New York stock market. I mean, the, you know, so... Um, crypto is here to stay, it's not going anywhere, and so we are just one of those early adopters. As a matter of fact, there is massive adoption going on all over Africa and all over the continent. Right now, our region here in Africa is the focal point. Why? Because it's just this huge population of youth, uh, which is almost 80% on our continent, 80% um, of our population are the youth people. Uh, from 30 and below. And so those are the people that understand this new dispensation. And those are the people that are going to be here tomorrow. And, um, and so they've already adopted it. So if they've adopted it, that is actually going to be the future of how um, uh, financial markets operate going forward. And that's just a fact. Uh, many people are denying that. But those who are denying that, they're not within this gap of these guys uh, that are 30 and below, who are actually going to be alive tomorrow. And the guys denying it are the guys that are actually not understanding. They've been here for a while, and they just don't understand that the, the financial markets have actually evolved. OK, I will need to now understand how to trade with this um, cryptocurrency called Temcoin on your exchange. Now, this exchange is supposed, I mean, the commodity is supposed to be trading there. We have oil commodity, agri commodity, I believe, stock and um, uh, perhaps foreign exchange. So how do we use this Temcoin to transact? Do we have to buy the Temcoin? How do we get to, you know, buy, perhaps I want to buy a particular commodity, say oil or one of the agri commodities on your exchange? What is the workings of this? Okay, first of all, when you come to uh, our exchange um, to participate in uh, trading of any of the assets, 
by virtue of you coming to the exchange and opening an account, you would have to acquire um, PEM coins. So you can come to exchange with US dollars, Euro. Um, later on, you can come there with the e Naira, but we haven't started that yet. So uh, please <laughs> pardon me for that. But you can come there with any one of these currencies, uh, including any one of the major, major cryptos and the stable coins. And the ones that um, we are about to adopt a stable coin that has just been approved by um, uh, the New York State Department. Um, you know, so we, we're going to have uh, those stable coins uh, on our platform. So you can come in to our platform with any one of those currencies, acquire the term coin and be able then to trade any one of our instruments. You can then take the term coin and then sell it off on any other exchange or any other uh, platform and be able to get liquidity in any other currencies and that is how you exit. Or you can hold the term coin and that is what I'm telling a lot of people. Acquire some term coin now and see the value grow and then you can sell your term coin later. You need not sell it immediately because uh, because of all these value drivers and the, the intrinsic growth that we anticipate, our term coin is going to grow northwards, and then uh, that is when people can cash in. And so, um, so that is just the one aspect. Then there's the other aspect you, you'd ask, how will these, uh, for example, the commodities function? Initially, the commodities market on our exchange will be uh, uh, synthetically indexed to the real market. Uh, in other words, it's going to mimic what's happening in, in the real market, and many markets actually operate like that. It's just that the folks trading and investing on the different platforms that don't quite understand how it works, including the forex market, and the, you know, it's, it, it just mimics what happens in uh, the real market. In other words, amongst the big players, amongst the big banks, uh, you only have a, a basket of a few big banks, whatever they're trading, is then mimicked, and that is what creates the, the Forex market and so on. But the point is, it will then initially be indexed to, um, to, 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 to the real market, and then later on, um, uh, we'll actually have uh, created our own market um, once we start getting feed from the various regions, in, uh, in this case, I mean electronic feed, in electronic digital feed. Once we start getting that feed, we'll be able to then uh, have um, people trade the actual commodities market. But to trade that, obviously, again, you will need to acquire some term coin, and to acquire some term coin, you can use a variety of international currencies, including the major cryptos, and that is how you trade, basically. And uh, it's basically on willing seller, willing buyer basis. In, in, in other words, are you saying that um, uh, other crypto exchanges can actually trade a uh, term coin? Can other crypto exchanges trade term coin? Uh, absolutely. Um, but that has not been switched on yet. But uh, in a matter of days or weeks, uh, many other crypto exchanges, the major ones, uh, we are going to be listed there. And um, the, you know you could you can trade our our term coin on uh, the major exchanges, uh, but initially to be within our own exchange. Of course, it is for a strategic reason uh, that it will happen that way. So initially to be on our own exchange, and then we're going to spread out with, with other um, exchanges that uh, we've made and are going to make alliances with, and so um, that is how you'll be able to. Um, to access the term coin or either exit from the term coin and acquire another uh, currency. Whether you're playing arbitrage or you're trading the arbitrage market, or it is just pure um, uh, day trading where you just want to perform a particular task and uh, exit, or you want to acquire the term coin for a long term uh, strategic reason, whether investing on our own uh, exchange or just holding. Uh, where you buy the term coin, you just um, keep it in your own wallet uh, for the next three to five years. In fact, that would be the smart thing to do. And I'll, that's what uh, I would recommend anyone to do. Now, term coin currently runs on the Binance smart chain. Are there any plans to launch your own smart chain? Uh, no. As a matter of fact, uh, the term coin is running on the Ethereum network at the moment. Uh, yes, uh, it will also be running on the Binance Smart Chain Network because 
that uh, uh, connectivity um, or the, the application is underway and um, it is just a few technical issues that uh, need to be resolved for it to run on the Binance Smart Chain Network. But it's not yet running on the Binance Smart Chain Network, but it's running on the Ethereum uh, network, uh, which is a, a dominant network these days. And uh, are we going to, well, those prospects, not yet, um, uh, but uh, who knows, the future um, of um, the crypto market is evolving so rapid. We don't see any need to do that at the moment, but uh, who knows, um, things are, are changing so rapid. Uh, we might um, you know, be in the position to, uh, to create our own network, but at the moment that is not in our strategic focus. All right, and I know, you know, one thing about investment, whatever kind of investment is having returns on investment, that's what everybody looks out for. So what kind of returns? For instance, I, I, I do business on ACES. What kind of returns uh, should I expect, say, monthly, biannually, or perhaps annually? Oh, well, um, let me put it this way. Uh, our exchange is a platform where people are coming to do the trading. And let, let me put it this way. You know the good old-fashioned bureau de change. If, uh, uh, if I arrive from um, whatever the, uh, you know, uh, region and I, I land in Lagos and tell them I have an international airport uh, and I have, let's say, for example, I have some United States dollars, I go to the bureau and I acquire the Naira. All right now, the bureau is basically an exchange, right? It's a good traditional exchange. What they're doing, they're just making a transaction fee as their profit, okay? So the exchange actually works like that. Whether we're trading commodities, whether we're trading forex stocks, and what we're basically providing, we are a market, we created a market, we're providing, uh, you know, the tradable assets and then or an instrument, and um, people come and sell and there's a willing seller, willing buyer uh, scenario taking place. And in this case, the exchange also is a buyer and a seller. Um, and so th that is how the exchange is positioned. It, it is not necessarily um, as, as, as some, some investment uh, mm. avenue that one take, but there is another element, okay? Uh, modern exchanges have what we call liquidity pools and uh, not all of them are structured the same way. But our exchange is unique. It's not like that other exchange that another person knows. Our exchange is unique. And so we have several liquidity pools that we've right. created, they've been turned on. And so someone can provide liquidity. In other right. words, let's go back to good old fashioned Bureau oh, of Change. Well, Mr. Vula, Mr. Vula, Mr. Vula, if you can hear me. I mean, we have to take a quick break. Uh, I know you have quite a lot to share there. And I would actually want to know the opportunities there for Nigerians in particular to perhaps listen in terms of listing on this exchange. Just hold your thoughts okay. there. I'll be back with you shortly. We'll take a quick break. And then when we come back, we'll continue with that conversation and get um, some of those answers from Mr. Mvula. <laughs> Welcome back. If you've just joined us, you're watching Business Morning on Channels Television. And just before we went on that short break, we were talking with Ian Mvula, the founder and president of T Markets Limited, owners of the newly launched exchange. That's the African Consolidated Exchange, uh, talking to us about uh, that exchange and how uh, the exchange operates. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Mvula, for sticking on there. Yes, I said I was going to, you know, understand the possibility of Nigerians, you know, to list on this exchange or perhaps their commodities or what products listing uh, uh, on, on your commodity, how would that work? Well, uh, first of all, let's talk about the raising of capital, okay? Uh, Nigerian companies that have a well thought out um, business plan or have been in operations for uh, a while and have uh, financial audited uh, statements, at least two years financial audited statements, they can come and list on our exchange to raise additional capital to be able to grow their business product or whatever the mission is. All right, now 
uh, that's not just um, um, companies that have been, like I said, startups can also come and uh, uh, you know raise capital because we basically a launch pad. And uh, it's just that um, the rules for startups and companies that have um, a track record, the rules are not the same. Um, but uh, one um, who has a well thought out business model, business plan, they can come and raise additional capital uh, from our exchange, just as it is in the traditional stock market. Uh, and so that is, uh, um, that is something that uh, uh, entrepreneurs should note. Needless to say, there are people that just run um, products that require uh, just traffic without them raising capital. They just want to expose uh, their business to um, a bigger audience of traders and investors, they can come and uh, talk to our listing department and then just list their product so that it is always in front of um, uh, the, the right audience. In other words, they can advertise, so to speak. So, uh, you know, those are the opportunities that are there. But uh, the raising of capital is the one that we've seen a lot more people show interest in. And of course, there's a lot of scrutiny. The due diligence is not um, one that uh, we take lightly. The due diligence can go on for, the, for several weeks to make sure all the boxes are ticked and that uh, the product, the people, the, the project that is being listed is authentic. So basically that is there. And, uh, that is uh, something of great interest, quite frankly. I see that. Anyway, uh, that's where we will leave that conversation uh, for now. Perhaps if I have more questions, I could do that outside the camera. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Vula, for uh, being Thank part you. of the Thank show. Thank you for having me. Right. Thank you.